Good morning, everybody. Um, right. This is not getting easier the second time. Good morning, everybody. I'm busy packing for a weekend away in Paris. I lie. It's more than a weekend. Okay, let's start. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Good morning. No, it's not morning. Hang on. Hello, everybody. I'm busy packing for a long weekend away in Paris. And before I started packing my things away, I had some deliveries arrive to complete my new spring updates to my wardrobe. So, hi, guys. I have uh, got a few chihuahuas coming to investigate because as soon as there's boxes we have to make sure that it's not edible and it's not toys for them. Um, but yes, these are my little babies and they're going to help me unpack today. Uh, so, basically, here in France it has been the most unreliable and unpredictable spring weather. We have gone from Blazing sunlight, which was so warm that even our heat-loving, sun-worshipping cat was hiding from the sun, to literally a crazy torrential rainstorm an hour later that was breaking branches off the trees. So I'm trying to improvise with this weather and pack a small suitcase and still not freeze to death. <laughs> and, and it's quite complicated to try and get the spring look going. I feel like I have to pack a double suitcase just for a few days away. Uh, let's just see what has arrived. So I've got a few boxes to unpack before I pack my suitcases and that are going to come with me. I'm sorry, it is so hard trying to talk when I have this lovely one crawling all over me. You're so cute. Yes. Sorry about that. But they are so attention needy. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's start with the first box. Guys, I need some space. Thank you. And the first box that we have here is from my Teresa. Yes, so I have uh, already sliced up uh, the tape because it's really hard doing that. And I don't want to run around looking for scissors and knives, so I have pre sliced them. And what I do love about my Teresa is this nice, convenient clean folder, um, you know, with your invoice and statements in it, which is quite nice. And also with the returns form, if you want to return it. Um, I must confess that I already know I will not be returning this item. I know that the size and fit is fine. Because a month ago in Paris, I was running through Le Bon Marché, Rive Gauche. And I saw this amazing dress on one of my favorite corners, the Isabelle Marron corner. Uh, who's one of my favorite, favorite designers. And I saw this beautiful dress on one of the mannequins. And I was so late for my train, but I thought I need to try this on. Tried it on in a size French 38, literally fit like a dream. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And I had no time to purchase it. I took the train, came back home, and I just knew that I had to get this dress. So I literally went online uh, in the next few days and ordered it before it got sold out. Which is very nice. Um, my Teresa, this thank you. Your package has been lovingly wrapped by Dominica. Like, thank you, Dominica. Very pretty handwriting you have. And let's see what this beautiful dress looks like. Well, I already know. So I have cheated a bit because I've tried it on. But let's unwrap this. I love the way the little tag says, open me. Like the other one that then eat me, drink me, open me. Ooh, ooh, this is so pretty. This is just as pretty as I remembered it being. So it's a spring dress. It's short. It's colorful. And it's uh, very, very fun. So uh, let's see. I don't know how much uh, you'll be able to see of it with me just holding it up. It's sort of a spaghetti strap with an asymmetrical ruffle. There we go. This looks lovely. So you've got that one shoulder ruffle coming down, a few ruffles on the bodice. And then it stretches out your short skirt with some tear ruffles. Same on the back, really flattering. It's got a nice sort of hanging drape down the back. It, it looks lovely worn. And I really think you're gonna have to uh, see this 
actually being worn on me to get an idea. The beautiful part about it is actually this lovely Lurex that's working to the thread. I am such a softie for Lurex. Any of these beautiful woven Lurex tissues, I just do it. And the sunshine yellow is so pretty. This is just such a spring, summer dress. It's bright and frivolous and so, so feminine. So I took a size 38 because as always my problem is everything that fits around here is going to be too short on the legs. Um, so I do have a bit of a loose fit going on and it's long enough for me to actually be able to sit down in and bend over and without having to worry. Okay, this is lovely. I can't wait to try this on. So I wanted to keep this look casual and uh, balance out the frilliness of the dress. So I paired it up with a military khaki jacket and some Chloe suede platforms. I will link at least the dress down below. However, the khaki jacket as well as the platforms are old season models, so I know you won't be able to find them in the store anymore. And at the back though, this dress looks so lovely with the ruffles cascading down. Absolutely love it. So the next one, let's see, because we have three boxes here. Hey, my boy. You want to come say hi? Oh, really? Hmm? Okay. So the next box that she really wants to help me open. Yes, I say, hey, my boy, and then I say she. It's actually two different dogs. I don't, it's not one dog doing a sex change between each day. Uh, so the next box is from Farfetch, as you can see from the F. So the nice heavy clan going on. So I know what this is. Um, it's from a brand I really love. Oh goodness, and I did not pre-slice this one. So now I'm going to try and not break a nail while opening this. Thankfully they're rather short. But this is going to be a little bit complicated. Hmm, how am I going to open this, guys? Ah, okay. So. There we go. And this was actually a pair of sneakers, spoiler alert, um, from my favorite brand. I could own a pair of every single one of the sneakers that they make. I absolutely love this brand. Uh, let me show you and then I'll talk about it. So this is also quite nice wrapping. Farfetch, I mean they have the best, like such a huge selection of brands shipping from everywhere. So this is obviously from a place called Russo Capri, I guess. And let's open it up so you can actually see what it is. Uh, I'm getting my work out. Okay. Uh, I love the unwrapping with internet shopping. Uh, it's got to be one of the... It feels like unwrapping a birthday presents when it's not even your birthday. It feels so nice every time. I never get tired of it. Philip Model, lovely brand of sneakers. They have two um, streams of sneakers. They'll do those flat tennis sneakers and then they do a lot of the sporty actual sports model sneakers. But I absolutely love their flat tennis style sneakers. And I have them in winter colors, darker colors, and I really wanted a pair of light, bright sneakers for summer. So I come with a nice dust bag and a little postcard, and a bottle of shoes, and made in Paris. And here we go. Voila. So this model is called the Paris, and it's not just called the Paris, it's called the Paris Diamond, white diamond. Obviously, because it's got these lovely little crystals, which look really nice. And I love how the sneaker itself has got this lovely used effect. I, I do like a bit of a scuffed up sneaker. I don't like it when they look far too polished. I do like the laid back look. So this is a lovely compromise between sort of a laid back low key and a little bit sparkly and girly. And these are just, I already have this model in a... Uh, uh, dark, um, I already have this model in dark Bordeaux suede uh, as well as silvery gold 
And this model has got to be one of the com most comfortable shoes I have ever tried on on my feet. Literally, the inner shaping of these soles has... I'm trying to hold the light so you can actually see that this curves up on the inside. And the whole shoe actually on the inside just has got this sort of like holding... It's sort of like holding anatomical sole that is just so comfortable. Even those sole inserts that you buy in house shops. Oh, for goodness sakes. I'll be back in a second. Hi again. Sorry about that. I was just interrupted by a phone call. So I was busy raving about these shoes, these sneakers by Philip Model. So let me just show you what they look like from the top, on the sides. And as I was saying, these are some of the most comfortable things that I've ever been on my feet, that I've ever placed my feet in. And literally they're ready made inner inserts. Their soles are probably at least as comfortable as, if not more comfortable than the ones you actually buy in pharmacies to put in your shoes. So I'm very happy with these. These are just wonderful for traipsing around town the whole day traveling. Sort of a really good heavy wear. Completely forgot to film these uh, being worn. I just took a photo of them uh, on the benches at uni and they look as good as they feel worn. And that's about all I can say about them. I just completely love this pair. And let's get on to the last box because I have to run and pack. I literally am running so late, like always. And this is a big flat box and I had to pay import duties on it because it's not from Europe, it's from America and it always costs a lot ordering anything from America but it's from a brand that I really enjoy called Free People. So I went online and ordered a bunch of uh, small things, uh, not real clothing, I just wanted to top up my accessories. I like my accessories. I'm such a, yes, I am a sucker for a nice shiny accessory. And let's see what's in this one. So, <coughs> excuse me for trying to hulk it up while I rip it open. Oh. Right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. And there we have it. So I know there's several items in here, which I can barely even remember. So let's have a look. Uh, Everything is all wrapped up and in one go. And there's a lot of paper here to protect a lot of stuff. And, uh, okay, I'm just going to try and show you the box as is. Because it's a bunch of hair accessories. Um, which. I thought it was so much nicer than my usual black clips and ribbon ties. So I've got some colorful ribbon ties, uh, which I will individually unpack quickly to show you what they look like. And I might show you a few worn in some flyaways a bit later, uh, but I don't really have time to do my hair and film that right now. So some nice little blue prints on some lighter stripes. I like the French summer style on this one, nice little scrunchy. Back. Let's see the next one. I love these like 80 scrunchies. These remind me of my childhood so much. Yes, I am that one. So this is a velvet scrunchie. I, I love the velvets. It's so cliche and retro and it's so fun. And I think that's the only velvet one. No, I had another one. Oh my goodness, this is 80s. This literally brings back memories of sleepovers with friends, dancing to Madonna and Roxette and watching watching John Travolta and Olivia Newton John. Yes, these lightning. Um, but here we go. Bright, hot pink velvet scrunchie. Can you get any more 80s than this? Can you get any more 80s in this, my boy? Do you want it? Do you want me to put it on you? No. No, no, no. This is not a toy. I know it looks like one. I know it's cute and fun. Basically, this is going to be my new favorite thing. 
and I love how girly and, and funny it is. No, we do not eat this. We don't. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have some more bright pink. Uh, we have a really nice... Oh my goodness! My dogs are literally trying, trying to steal <laughs> some of these items. You guys are liking them a lot, aren't you? Okay, talking of bright pink, uh, I'll obviously have to cut the little tags off because this kind of spoils the look. But once the little sticky out tags off, this is a really nice hair ribbon that functions as elastic. It's tied up and it's got a lovely hair ribbon. I love the bright pink and since I've got the dark blonde going on, I just thought it was quite nice. Especially if I'm wearing a plain outfit, I'm really into simplistic outfits. So I love a bright accessory that's a little bit funny and a little bit cheeky. I say cheeky because working in a hospital, as a doctor in a white coat, um, you can't really do cheekiness in a big way. So these little touches are very, uh, <laughs> very rebellious. Although that I probably wouldn't wear at work. I'd probably go for this one, which is a nice dark olive. Let me see if you can see the color with the lights. And these are all made in sort of silky satin material. It's the same as the last one, just uh, in a different color. And you've got the elastic going on. Once again, the tags that are just going to ruin it, that need to come off. But uh, I thought this as well would be lovely, especially for, uh, for girls with blonde hair. This is really nice. It's a lovely contrast. It's, it's really neutral, though. I mean, it's great for any, any kind of hair. And there's still more. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I did this much. I may have, oh, I, I may have had a scarcity mindset when I was watching these. I may have felt like I will never find hair bands again. And this next one is a lovely aubergine hair clip. So it's just a nice big clip. So you can use it on hair that's down, tied up, just clips in. It's a nice big oversized puffy aubergine color. It looks a bit darker and brighter on the camera than it is in real life, I realize. And I can't really, yeah, I can't really make, there we go. It's a bit closer to real color. It's actually a bit more dusty and mauvey uh, in real life, but it's not showing up on the camera. And we're almost through. And then the others are a little bit more classic. We have got a classic black, sort of black tie scrunchie, which just always looks good. I, I like the effect of having a low point, especially on a low ponytail. And you just have this little scrunchie hanging down in the back of a crisp white shirt. I always think it looks so dressed up in literally three seconds. And uh, let's do the next ones. This for summer, this one. Oh, this one is being resistant. So for summer, I wanted a nice sort of wispy, scarfy effect. I'm loving the olives right now. I, I love all these neutral colors. And this is just a very nice chiffon see-through white and green prints. And I, I love just having these nice silky materials hanging down. It, it makes you want to take a nice cabriolet car out for a drive in the wind, in the sunshine. Uh, but yeah, definitely a nice summer hair type. And this is the last scrunchie, which is what I think I'll be actually wearing. I think I'm just going to be wearing this now and every day because I literally wanted something bright and colorful and cute. And here we have it, bright and colorful and a mental animal behind me and cute. Uh, so this is very sweet. It's got a nice crinkle effect and what more can I say about it except that it is a hell of a cute scrunchie. <laughs> to finish up with the hair accessories, I also picked up uh, from them two nice uh, claws, hair claws, which were really cool. The first one is sort of like an acetate dark gunmetal. I loved the geometric shape on this. And that's what that looks like. So it's just, you know, clips right in. It looks big enough to hold a good deal of my hair. So we'll be trying this. And then once again, a bit of a retro style, a nice sort of shiny tortoise shelly acrylic clip up, which is in a nice half moon shape. 
possibility. And it just was very nice. So there you have it. That has been a hair accessory haul extravaganza. And I have some lovely sneakers to show you and dress. And I cannot wait to try these on. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe. And any links uh, that I can still find, because I did order these two or three weeks ago, I will put below as well. So if you did enjoy it, please do encourage me. This is my second video. It is terrifying. I feel like I am making a complete fool out of myself the whole time. It is terrifying. Absolutely. So if this is in any way um, enjoyable or worth doing again, then please show me some love and encourage me by hitting a thumbs up, subscribing. And that being said, now I have to get back to actually packing all of this into a suitcase and getting it back up to Paris with me. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I had a fun time. I hope you did too. And I'll see you soon. Bye. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all.